Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I wanna talk to you guys about today is how to run an ad on Spotify. I've recently learned that it's one of those things that not many people even knows exists. So what I wanna do is run you guys through the platform, walk you through it, show you how to get set up, and talk you through the process of setting up your own Spotify ad so that you guys can start to use it. So with that being said, let's hop right into it. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Spotify Ad Studio. Now, the first thing that you'll want to do is go to adstudio.spotify.com and go ahead and sign up to be a part of that ad platform. I was lucky enough to catch it in its beta form, so I got accepted in about a week or two. I don't know how long it takes right now, but I would assume no more than two weeks. If it does take you a little longer than that, just email Spotify and be like, hey, what's up? And they're pretty good about responding back to people in a timely manner. Now, once you're actually a part of the platform or if you already have it, all you will need to do is go to manage your ads and it will bring you to the home screen for your ad creations. So as you can see, when you're setting up your ad, you pretty much have two objectives, raising awareness for a brand, a business or an organization, or promoting a concert or music related content. Raising awareness for a brand is pretty much something that a corporation would wanna do, like a Coke or a Pepsi or somebody who would wanna target listeners for their brands within Spotify. What you want to do is use promote a concert or a music related content, I'm assuming that most of you guys will be using this to promote a song or a project or something like that. And then you would just need to name it. So we'll call it test ad for the sake of this tutorial. And next that'll bring you up to your audience and budget screen. Now this is where that fan profile comes in handy guys. So pretty much it's gonna ask you for your target demographic. So you have your location, your age, your gender, stuff like that. So I'm going to assume that for this, you are, let's say you're a rapper who's based in Atlanta. So you would wanna target other people who are also based in Atlanta, ages 16 to 25, and all genders, of course. And next, it brings you to the section of target based on listening behavior. So with this section, you can either just throw spaghetti at the wall and target all music listeners, or you can target people who are listening to specific genres. You can target people who are listening to different playlist categories like party playlists or study playlists or long drive home playlists and things like that. Or you can target the fans of a specific artist. Now, with this section, you're not really allowed to use it unless the artist is involved with you in some way, shape or form. So they have to either be a part of the event or be on the song or something like that. So you would want to most likely target based on the genre that you're in. So let's go ahead and put in hip hop. And as you can see on the right hand side, it's keeping tabs of all the metrics that you're using to make your ad. Once you get to the budget session, it'll break everything down a little bit more. And you also have your platform section. You always want to target every single platform unless you're doing some kind of specific campaign. Well, let's say you created an Android app it allows people to access your songs ahead of time and you want to target people who are only using Android. Unless it's something like that, always target every single platform. Now, with the budget section, as you can see, Spotify has pre-planned $1,000, $2,500, and $5,000 budgets. I know that sounds like a lot of money, guys, but luckily, the least amount of money that you can use to run a Spotify ad with is $250. Now, I know it's not cheap, but it's a long cry from $5,000. And now as you can see on the right side, it's kind of broken it down a little bit more. So this $250 with our current metrics will place your ad in front of about 14,000 people. And that's not pretty bad. $250 to reach 14,000 people is not bad at all, especially if you're coupling this with your Spotify playlisting that you should already be doing. And after that, it will just take you to the section of actually creating your ad. Now, you can hire someone at Spotify to pretty much read a script and record a voiceover for you. But like I said, I'm assuming that for this tutorial, we're just promoting a song or a project. So all you would need is a 30 second wave clip of your song and the cover art that's already in a 640 by 640 configuration. So then you just wanna go ahead and get everything set up. And this little screen right here on the right pretty much shows you your ad as it's being created. So for this, I'm gonna use a random fan art of Childish Gambino uh, just something I found on the internet and you will want to come down and create the ad headline and stuff like that so let's just make something up and as you can see right here on the right side is creating the ad right in front of you pretty much showing you how it would look on the mobile version and also on the desktop version for the desktop users of the platform and the companion link will pretty much be 
the link to the song or the link for the landing page that you would want this to land to. Once again, like I said, assuming you're promoting a song or a project, you will want this to link directly back to your Spotify profile, to the song. You want to drive people in the platform directly back to your page. That's the best way to use these ads. And once you get that all situated, it'll pretty much just ask you a couple of questions at the end, let you look over your order, make sure that everything looks good to you, and then you can get your ad situated and on the way. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much a basic overview of the Spotify Ad Studio. As I start to do them a lot more and can provide a lot more details and metrics on them for you guys, I promise to come back and do a much deeper dive into them. So as you can see, Spotify ads are an effective addition to any Spotify campaigns that you may be running. Use them in addition with your Spotify playlisting if you can afford to do so. With that being said, because of how much they cost, I wouldn't recommend just running them on a song that you're not trying to go all out for, but running them for songs that you're ready to fully invest into or a project that you're ready to fully invest to so that you maximize the benefits of the money that you're spending. Now, at some point, I'm gonna do a video about the analytics of a Spotify ad just so you guys can see it before putting your money into it and make the decision on whether you think it's worth it for you or not. And with that being said, if you feel like you learned anything today, guys, please like and share this video. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.